Good morning. We've uh, carrying on with our little video things. Um, Saturday morning now, and we uh, we're just going to look at a piece in Hebrews. It's right at the end. It comes under what they call the benediction. I don't actually know what a benediction is. Do you? Chuck him in there. Do you know what benediction means? Well, it's it's always like the bit at the end, like the blessing over the end. Yeah. Of is that what it means, basically? I think so. Well, I don't uh, know, hundred percent. I don't know. Ain't got a clue, but anyway. So, I know it's the bit that people say over each other at Bene the end. Bene is, is like the root that means good. Oh, right. Yeah. Hmm. As in beneficial. Oh, yeah. She's a bit... <laughs> Excellent. Right. Anyway, so let's have a look at this. Let's get on with the programme. Um, we're looking at Hebrews 13 and Andy's going to read 20 and 21. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. The bit at the start, it's the introduction as such, look. Um, interestingly, actually in 19 it says, but I beseech you, the rather, to do this, that I may be restored to you sooner. So he, he's talking about, I think, um, the writer of Hebrews, who there's a bit of debate on who wrote it, but let's it's commonly believed it's paul so paul's talking about coming anyway then he's like saying now the god of peace that brought again from the dead so first he's saying this the lord that created everything the one that rose christ from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep well, we're the sheep he's the great shepherd um through the blood of the everlasting covenant so this is the this is the foundation, let's say, of what he's talking about. He's, he's, he's about to tell you something that's quite amazing. And the reason why it's quite amazing, because this has got the power of God behind it. And that power that rose Jesus from the dead, that power that does everything in this world that's for God's glory, he, he's got that power. It's coming from the Lord. And what's this power going to do? make you perfect in every good work to do his will so it's not through our strength it's not through our even understanding or or reading the word or doing anything it's got nothing to do with that it's got all to do with god's power god's power he's the one that's supplying it and he's the one that's going to make you perfect and to do his will working in you so God and Jesus Christ, they're the ones that are working in you, me and Andy, any believer in Jesus Christ, God is working in them. It's critical you see this, okay, because you're not doing it. Now, you're complying with it. The thing that we need to do is believe it and have faith that God will supply all of our need all of our righteousness, all of our perfection, all of our godliness. We have nothing, God supplies it all. The, our, the problem we have as Christians is we don't have a revelation of this. So we carry on trying to do it and getting frustrated and even saying things like, maybe I'm not fully saved, maybe I don't know the Lord, maybe this, maybe that. This is terrible words. Do not say it. Believe in all your heart that Jesus Christ and the Lord in heaven, your Father, have the power and will supply all of your righteousness and all of your needs. They will take away your sin and you will walk holy. You have to believe this. This is the connecting problem. If you don't have that connection and don't understand it, you will simply try to do it. Because you'll read it that you need to be holy. You'll read it that you're going to do every good work and be made perfect. And you can't do it. And it's deliberate. You'll never do it. Wouldn't matter how, Wouldn't matter if you were super amazing, like the greatest man that ever lived. You will still never do it. 
because God won't allow it to happen because it's not for your benefit because that means you'd be full of proud pride. Mm. So you've got to do it by faith. You've got to do it by belief. You've been told this, haven't we? Understand this. It's only through belief. It's only through faith that we are made whole, not in our own works. So then he's saying it's working in you. That which is well-pleasing in his sight. Again, when John talks about everything you ask for, I'll give. This is a similar thing. Everything that's being worked in me and Andy is for God's glory and for his is pleasing to his sight. Not my way, but his way. You see, the blessing that he's, he's giving is that the, the God of peace will make them perfect yeah. in the work that they do for his uh, through his will, in his will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm saying. So we're not talking about, you know, making a cabinet in the back room or a, a work of cleaning your yard out. There's nothing wrong with any of these things. But the, we're talk, this is talking about deep stuff. This is talking about make you perfect, make you a God man. Make you a christ field woman or man. Make you a Holy Spirited temple. Make you a blessing to your people. Make you a pillar of godliness. Make so you, make you, know, you into these something things. that is pleasing to him. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's only done through, through his, his son. blood and through his son. Yeah, it tells you the only one way is, is me, through me. And that, that all glory should goes to goes back goes to, him. to him because that's the other great thing because <laughs> it's perfect because if you thought you'd done it all the glory goes to you how many times do we do things and someone says oh that's excellent that you've done that and you're like mm, you know you, you you can't help it but just say for instance you walk by faith and believe and you watch god supply all your need he supplied all your righteousness who's the glory going to you'll be walking around going like I can't believe it. The Lord is so great. You'll give him all the glory. And the the words that the Lord says in his Bible, right, are true. They're completely true. And we, even when we read them, when we get revelation, they're like, huh, they're completely true. I know. I'm getting the... <laughs> my nudge has got more righteousness as it's gone on. It's now a, a lean. Anyway, bless you all. We'll see you later. Love the scripture. Read it. It's powerful stuff. It will lift you, it will help you. And more importantly, it gives God glory. So give him all the glory. Bless you all. See you later. Love you. Bye-bye.